Hello and welcome to this video, so guys, my name is Pros and this is a G uh, Wild Tanks video, my bad. Um, and this is on, as you can tell by the title, the Jagdpanzer 4, which is the tier 6 German tank destroyer. So I'm just going to get the stats up here. And it didn't take me too long to get this tank because I really enjoyed the Stog 3 after sort of leaving it for a while and then coming back to it. So I didn't, it didn't feel much of a grind. And obviously with the, the 2 times XP and all that, it makes it a lot easier. And I did get this for like 600,000 silver as well because it has had a discount on at the time so normally I don't uh, I don't recommend this by using your free XP but I used all my free XP I could so it meant I could get it a lot cheaper so I could save a lot of silver so yeah I got it for like 600,000 so I'm not gonna make that much of a loss on it when I when I use it when I sell it even okay so I'm gonna run through the stats quickly and this is with the second gun that I've un I unlocked okay so it's got 600 hit points 350 engine power 38, a, a speed limit of 38 kilometers an hour, a traverse speed of 35, a hull armor of 80, 40, and 20, a standard shell damage of 101 to 169, standard shell penetration of 113 to 188, a rate of fire of 15.38, a turret traverse speed of 44, a view range of 330, and a signal range of 415. So, pretty decent stats, and obviously the tank, the tank destroyers all have their sort of good and bad points. And obviously that yeah they're like they're known for this and that, all that. So with the German ones like the the Stug and the the Jagdpanzer, it's really quite agile and nimble. It doesn't obviously the the top speed's not bad. Thirty eight kilometers an hour is pretty quick. So obviously just sort of get to a, a decent spot and then camp. With this tank, I found I've used it for quite a few games and I don't get loads and loads of kills. It's more like you're just there in the shadows constant damage just dealing out making sure you don't give the enemy team any time to to back up or you don't give them you know you just take loads of damage off because obviously that first gun the the third gun that i'm using at the moment does a lot of damage and has pretty decent penetration obviously finding the weak spots and a lot of the time as you are quite a uh, nimble and it's not it's like a stealth tank basically you can get on the side of a lot of tanks if they're just like going past you and they see that your heavy's there so they might all just go for him or move up towards that. If you can just hit all the tanks on their side, then you're, you're dealing out 130 damage at 15 rounds a minute, which is just awesome. It's a really effective tank at that. Obviously, you can critical hit as well, so you take the tracks down, then your whole team loves you. Because this gun is actually incredibly accurate. Like, the, the circle tightens really well, and obviously, if you your target's destroyed then or wrecked, then it's obviously a lot harder. But honestly, a really good tank. It was a little bit of a grind at the start, I do have to admit. I didn't enjoy it that much. It was like the gun didn't work for me very well. I thought it was, it was pretty poor. But getting to the next gun is really, really good and it helps a lot. So basically, like like in all of these sort of tier six ones, they're all very similar to tanks, and it's difficult to actually um think of new ideas and ways to make it make them better. Well not make them better, I guess. To make them more effective. Or the best way to play them. It's just, I think, like I said, it's a very sort of lie lowing tank that doesn't get doesn't get spotted that easily. And if you if you get spotted in this tank, then you are basically, to be honest, screwed. You got a bit of pace, you can get away, but you can't reverse that quick. Obviously, it's a whole lot tank. If your tracks are down like any whole lot tank, it's very difficult. You're if 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 you're detected as well, you're just gonna get shot the crap out of. And there's a really nice, um, really decent. Uh, sort of moment in this in this game where you can see we're all on the hill, just tank destroyers all on this hill, and as soon as someone pops up, there's just everyone shoots, and actually, when I go on the attack, you'll see near the end, there's a black prince left on their team, so I go to sort of try help my team take him out, and an M12 does one thousand one hundred twelve damage or something like that. And that is the most damage I've ever seen in a game, and it was outrageous. I did not see that coming. Like the bar was like three quarters, and it just wipes all its health. That it was outrageous. But yeah, keep an eye out for that because that is crazy. I do really like this tank. Obviously, I said that at the start. It's not a great tank with the first couple of, with the first gun. The third gun, I think, is probably the best. I, I haven't got the fourth gun, but it doesn't look that great. You sort of take, you get rid of um, penetration, and you get a bit more damage. Which for me, I would rather damage your uh, penetration over damage. If you, the worst thing is when you're just sat there shooting and you're bouncing every shot and it's just no fun at all. It's one of the worst things about the game. 
But if you've got if you've got the opportunity to use a good turret, a, a, a turret with great penetration, for me that's just that's the way I do it now. I used to quite like the the low to damage with no penetration, but in high level games it's just not effective at all. Um, so if you guys have got this tank, let me know what you think of it. And if you know this tree pretty well, like if you've got the uh, J Panther, I think it's called, or even the Yag Tiger, then let me know. Let me know what you think of it, because I'd really like to know. And that's about it, guys. Like I said, just sort of lie low. Use your. If you stay, you can stay hidden by yourself. But if you've got like a heavy tank or something, you can just sort of be near, so he can spot them, take the damage, and you just support him by shooting like loads. If of course, if you're like a, if you're in a platoon, it works really well. If you've got a platoon of tank destroyers, then you want to sort of pace your shots, or you're already as soon as someone gets spotted, just like uh, I can't think of the word, but you sort of fire in sequence just to make sure you're, you're most you're, that'd be most effective, guys. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you really enjoyed. Like I said, let me know if you've uh, used this tank. And I've got a M6 video coming out after this one. And I'm still working on the ATA. I'm still working on it. Hopefully, we'll get it soon. It's it's just because I've been trying to use different tanks and I can't really save very well at the moment because I'm using the uh, T49 trying to get to the Hellcat. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, like I said, be sure to leave a like. And if you really enjoyed, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.